Hey there, friends of the internet. It's RPG Master 95 playing Chrono Trigger. We're in the year 600 AD and we need a hero. Uh, yeah, Magus and his army are on the loose and uh, things are not looking good for Team Guardia. Mom said I can't play outside because of the monsters. I'm so bored. Aw. See, I mean, not even the kids can go out. Is it true that the king was injured? Oh, we didn't actually uh, look into that while we were at the castle momentarily. What's going to happen to us in our country? You know what? Bear with me one second, YouTube. I don't know if in all my playthroughs, I bothered to check on the context that is the injured king. And... Kind of space doing something last episode that we're going to take advantage of. Or, I mean, investigate. It's a bush. Don't touch every bush that moves. But hey, if you can find shelter in a bush, get in there. Oh, let's see here. That did not come out the way I wanted it to. Uh, so we're going into Guardia Castle. Yeah, the king is... So Chrono, the legendary hero, has appeared. He just arrived a moment ago to meet the king. Oh. Well, shoot. The king is quarters what would be north? Yeah, let's check this out. So much uh, dialogue and conversation I haven't seen for years. I saw that treasure chest and I'm coming back for it. Just because I've done such a straight gun to the finish. Oh no, he is. Cirrus must have sent the boy to us. Cirrus? The boy? Can I... At this rate, Clean Ween will also succumb. Oh, Clean's all worried. The king's injured. I'm a thieving conniving bronze mail. That sounds like something that would have benefited us earlier in the game. Ooh. Sealed with a mysterious energy. We will get the power to unlock those, my good friends. And a hundred dollars. Hey, that's like, you know, what my uh, kid's saving up for to get himself a corn snake. Yeah, we're gonna adopt us a snake. We gotta get a terrarium and all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be great. Uh, let's see here. Um, so yeah, been a long time since I've actually bothered. I want to touch this bush. There we go. Sweet. Well, considering that's like one of the few items I actually spend money on in a playthrough, it's kind of nice or rather interesting to know that I could not have to spend any money on them at all. Ah, oh, let's see. Went to the market last episode. We've been to that little house. Drino Inn. Hello. Clear your conscience. The end of the world is coming. Whoa! <laughs> That's not gruesome or... Yeah. That's just... No. We're not going to have that attitude. This is the r, &R Hotel. $50. I happen to know where I can get a better deal just around the block. A sword called a something out of the moon was made hundreds of years ago. No one has the skill to make a sword like that anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. Have you met the hero already? No, we're actually looking for him. I haven't met him either. I wonder what the champion of the world looks like. I'm so excited. Well, he is, from what I caught, a boy. Did you know they say the mythical mass immune lies deep within Denodoro Mountains? Ooh, but it's guarded by terrible beasts. Uh, I don't care, you just said awesome thing. Mystical, yeah, I'm gonna get it. Mags is trying to bring forth an immense evil. Ha, ah, yes, Lavos. If he succeeds, there will be nowhere to run. We'll all perish. That's why I'm living it up now, in the... Yeah, that's, that's great. What is it with a world where <laughs> drinking ourselves away or hanging out at the pub is is living it up want to hear my tale uh, want to hear my tale yeah sure goblins with huge hammers roam the denadaro mountains to the east but burn their weapons and their pussycats ah that's awesome had i not already known that good to know ah uh, the elder's house oh we just skipped something about i think yeah go find the rainbow yeah Hey, no problem, cause like, I'm the mythical explorer. Good match, eh, Chief? Hmm, I'll be waiting for good news. With that settled, I'll grab a bite before I go. I'm busy right now, let's talk later. 
Alrighty. So, actually, yeah, let's see. So check this out. It's locked. He talked to him. Is it true the king was injured? What's going to... Yeah, we actually already talked to him. Hey, is that a... <laughs> now it triggers. Oh, this game. Sometimes I wonder, like, where its little mechanisms are that make certain little things happen. Is that a nugget bromide you've got there? I'll trade you something good for it. Uh, yeah, let's make a trade. Really? You mean it? Yahoo! Now just hold your horses. I'll be back in a jiffy. It's unlocked. You're free to take it. I'll be taking these. <laughs> what is he like, the Master Roshi of the Chronoverse? One magic tab. Thanks, old man. Well, there are these mountains here. Ah, uh, there's also... Ooh, I never stop here except when I need to. Let's check on good old Fiona. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war. But these woods mean a lot to us, so I'll guard them until he returns. So I don't know why, but as a kid, if you look where like her chin line is, I like saw that as like a nose, and I just I don't know. I can't see it anymore, but I used to always think that was a dude with long hair. Just 16-bit, 32-bit faces. You know, they're not always the most distinguishable things there. Got a mid-ether. Got a mid-ether. So happy to loot your home. Was that French fries standing on your table? <laughs> or a motionless candle. Got it. Yeah. Oh, uh, so let's go ahead and rest up. Very well. Although technically I could rest up for free if I wanted to get me a free shelter. But you know, you got to support local businesses. It's good. And <laughs> I love how Robo just like sits on the bed. Boy, he is one well-made robot if he doesn't just break that thing. Go to the market. Ooh, did you see that shiny in the, like, bottom left corner of the store? I'm gonna put on this armor and fight that stupid Magus. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, it's too heavy. Don't overdo it. Power tab. Sweet. I want that treasure chest over there. Can I have that treasure chest over there? No? Okay. Ah, you've got all sorts of things. But, that's naughty. Yeah, we don't buy things in this playthrough. Ah, uh, I thought Toma was here. Maybe not. The Elder's House. Ah, the magic cave lies un m under a mountain east of Denadar. <laughs> the magic cave, huh? Next to the bed is a treasure box. Open it and the contents are yours. If only I had some jerky. What a great meal I could make. Ooh. Jerky, eh? Um, I wonder if we can get more jerky from the brother. Tata's house. You know. Because Tata. How is that a male name? Tata. Uh, my son's a legendary hero. It must have been all that oatmeal. And to think I'm his father. Well, that's beautiful. I've been to feed some beautiful kids oatmeal, so, you know, maybe they'll turn out heroes one day. That's the plan. My grandson's a brave hero. That's from my side of the family. <laughs> so we've got this boy that is the hero, and we need to find him. Because we need a hero. He's got to be strong, and he's got to be, and he's got to be faster than light. Uh, can't believe the legendary hero was a boy from this village. Did you hear the latest? Uh... I don't know, what's the latest? Remember the legendary heroes from this village then. <laughs> oh, Woosley. And your Woosleyisms. Oh, you, uh. You crack me up with your simplified dialogue. Alright, well, if I was Tama and I just got, uh. Offered some money to go find some stuff. Yeah, let's real quick go. There we go, he's at the pub. That's right. Hey, how have you been? You pay my tab, let you in on some stuff. Why are we always picking up everyone's tab? How about it? Thanks a bunch. Hey, one more, please. Some creepy, dangerous frogs have taken over the sudden woods. 
Yeah. Some creepy, dangerous frogs have taken over the sudden woods. <laughs> so, uh, did I mention Woolsey and his, uh, like, okay, I guess that means we need to go check out the southern woods. Kind of makes me want to have the DS version side by side. I want to know what he actually says when given the chance to, you know, speak in more than like five words. Ah, simple sentences. Ah, uh, oh man, I totally failed that dodge roll. Good old dodge roll. Need to do some enter the dungeon with liquid. I know we're going to do it soon. Okay, so you know what I remember is I'm going to attack this guy and he's going to do my dirty work for me. Yeah. Come on. Not up. Yeah, later on you run into some that'll do that to you, so you gotta be careful. Ouch! 15 damage. Well, geez, even their heavier attacks just don't seem to be really doing a whole lot. I didn't feel like we uh, level up that much of the factory. You know what we could also probably do is we could turn up the speed of battle. I can totally handle some faster battle, and hey, if it gets crazy, just like all things else in this playthrough. Oh, snake down, no? Man. He is efficient. Yeah, so I'm looking at getting a corn snake. Random uh, tidbit of the moment. Apparently when they're itty bitty babies, you feed them dead frozen mice that you have to warm up under like warm water to try and, I don't know, uh, get the idea. Did that bush just wiggle? I'm gonna get up in that. Yeah. All about getting into bushes today. Now this, did that bush just talk? Who's there? <gasps> it's my favorite frog! Tizzy, Chrono, thou art here to practice thy so skill in swordplay. What? The king has been injured. I see. Tis an area thing I can't do. Please be on thy way. No, 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 no. Wrong theme song. Frogs is more like Come on, frog. Do that frog thing you do with the flexy muscle and the butt kicking. The hero I am not. I can do not. Okay, we all know that this whole thing about a child being the hero is a ruse. I am not. I can do not. But we need a hero. Well, sad. Guess for now I'll leave Frog to his little dwelling with the little candle and the two chairs in case he ever has like another. There's three chairs in case like those naughty frogs want to come pay him a visit. And stole your scarf. All right. Um, hi -ya! Won't catch me twice with the... Yeah. Oh, you think you're so sneaky. Not gonna happen. Speaking of. Alright, how do I get over to the other column? Okay, uh, battle mode active. Yeah, that's what I... Wait, okay. Um, I feel special right now. Tech, save skill, control pad standard, gauge, battle mode active. Okay, YouTube, how do I get to the right side of the screen? There we go, battle speed. Okay. Um, which way does it go? Is a... It didn't tell me how fast, so I'm guessing bigger number is faster. We'll crank it up to seven. I used to love the number seven. The number seven used to be my favorite number. Then I discovered that it's like the most common favorite number. Google it. Most common favorite number. You'll see number seven. I like 95 for a lot of things, including, you guessed it, Chrono Trigger. Yeah! It's where the fascination started about 12 or so years ago. And... I've discovered uh, and established quite a few reasons and justifications for it since. It's a pretty awesome number. I mean, hey, when there's like an awesome game coming out, 9.5, when you, uh, you know, 95%, that's an awesome score. I mean, just 9.5 is just awesome. It's basically a realistic perfection. I don't believe anything's perfect. Nothing's a 10 out of 10. Not even good old Chrono Trigger. Uh, 
I just told a lie. Chrono Trigger is a 10 out of 10. You know what I'm saying, though, hypothetically. Nothing's a 10 out of 10. But a 9.5, that is an amazing accomplishment that can be met. Yeah, it's a great number. And I mean, how many people are going to be like, my favorite number is 95. Booyah, original. So I'm glad we have Luca here. More on that later. <laughs> hey, what's up, little guy? It's just a goblin. He's the green goblin. Ouch. He doesn't even have his little hoverboard or his pumpkins. And he's put on a lot of weight. Apparently your dad dying is a little bit depressing. Or was it the other way around? Which one was the green goblin? This is a terrible place. You'd best run away while you can. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our hero. So, fun fact. Attack a dude with a hammer. Full force critical and... It does not. Uh, if we didn't have Luca, what would our options be here? Some magic damage, maybe? That's better. What about if we had Chrono throw down his lightning bolts? Because, you know, lightning is a similar form of energy, is it not? Okay, you know what? Bring on the fire. He's on fire! So, yeah, now that I'm thinking here, um, and I actually do recall one of my playthroughs where I was being my stubborn self, I don't like Luca, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to use Luca, blah, blah, blah. And pain in the butt that was right about now. All right. I love this music. We're going to end it right here with this, like, happy-go-lucky, don't worry, be happy. Yeah, on the hunt for the hero, the truth, the... Hang on a quick second. All right, so that kid totally took off. I mean, yeah, we can take care of this mountain here real quick. But... Where'd the little kid run off to? Is he at the cafe? No? Maybe I gotta take care. Maybe you have to, maybe it's yet another one of those moments in Japanese RPG history where you have to just, you know, do the one thing before the other thing happens, even though the other thing should be happening right now. And we're gonna do that thing. In the next episode, let's play Chrono Trigger with RPG Master 95. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the future.